Hello and welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to solve this circuit and what we're tasked to do is the same as always in these problems. We're trying to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit uh, reference to terminals A and B. So basically we want to model this entire circuit as a single voltage source in series with a single Thevenin equivalent resistance uh, that basically is equivalent to what we have on the board. Now I've chosen a, a little bit of a simpler problem, even simpler than the last problem I think. Um, because what we're going to do in this case is I'm going to show you how to calculate the Thevenin resistance two different ways. Um, because I think it's important. Most teachers are going to, to guarantee want you to, to be able to find the short circuit current and find the Thevenin resistance that way. Now most teachers are definitely going to want you to understand how to use both methods. Some method, you know, one method might be a little easier than the other one depending on the particular problem you have. But before we get there, let's find the Thevenin equivalent voltage. Remember, how do you find V Thevenin? It's just simply the open circuit voltage between terminals A and B. So here it's already open circuit. I've got two terminals A and B. All I would really be doing in real life is measuring the voltage with a meter between A and B. But how do I calculate it? I basically want to find the voltage across these two terminals. Now, I could do lots of things. I could write, you know, um, you know, I could write uh, uh, equations and try to solve them that way. I want to try to give you a little bit of, a, of practice using, you know, using our brain a little bit to think about it. What if this 8 ohm resistor weren't here? If this 8 ohm resistor weren't here and this, this wire was connected directly here, what would I have over here? I'd have a voltage source with two, uh, two resistances and I would be measuring the voltage only across the 40 ohm resistor, right? So what I would have would be a voltage divider. That's what this is. And we learned about voltage dividers a long time ago in volume one of the circuit analysis tutor. And if you remember, if you cover this up and you see the voltage divider here, I showed you how to calculate the voltage is measured across here. And forget about this for a second, just let's just pretend it's not there and let's calculate that voltage. And then I'll circle back and show you why this 8 ohm, re 8 ohm resistor doesn't matter at all. So the voltage across A and B in the case of, of this not being there, right, would be, we'll call it VAB, which is V Thevenin, because it's just the open circuit voltage across A and B. All you do is you take the voltage source you have and you multiply it kind of by a, a splitter, so to speak, which is a fractional representation of these two resistors. So what you have is 40 on top and 40 plus 10 on the bottom. So what it's telling you is the 60 volts is split across this you know, in a weighted proportion, so to speak. 40 divided by the sum, which is going to be 50, so most of the voltage is going to fall across the 40 ohm resistor. And we talked about that when we looked at current divider, or circuit, uh, voltage dividers. So what you're going to have is 60 times, we'll do 0 0.8 inside. So what we've really found is V Thevenin is equal to 48 volts. Because this is not a 6, of course, it's a 60 like that. So 60 times 0 0.8 on the inside, 48 volts. So you see, this was super, super fast. And the reason it was fast is because we recognized it as a voltage divider, and we've talked about voltage dividers before. Now, this 8 ohm resistor, it is in the circuit, but it doesn't really matter when measuring the voltage across this 40 ohm resistor. Why do you think that is? Because this is open circuited here. There is absolutely no current flowing through this 8 ohm resistor, or, or, or of course across A and B either, because it's open air, right? Since there's no voltage, I mean, no current flowing through this resistor, then there can be no voltage drop across that resistor. There just can't. If there's no current going through it, it's, 